Well, good morning everybody. Here we are at uh, Wolverley Lock. We had a stay below the lock last night and uh, had a bit of broken sleep last night. The foxes were out and they were making a right howl. Anyway, the, um, on our way to uh, Cookley at the moment and we're going to pull the boat over there. We're going to go off and do some geocaching. Uh, and then later on in the day, probably head towards Kimber. We'll see see how we get on. One thing about Wolverley, um, it's 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 home actually to um, a very famous person, uh, a member of the uh, from Led Zeppelin uh, resides here. Well, certainly used to reside here. He may not anymore, but he certainly did years ago. So unfortunately, there's been a bit of a problem here. But it's been a problem for many years, so I don't know whether there's a dispute about who does the repairs on these uh, bridges sometimes, whether it's Canal and River Trust or whether it's uh, highways. But that's been like that for a long, long time. Sarah's doing at the moment is she's using an app which um, you can take a picture of any plant or flower and it will tell you what that plant or flower is so how often do you come across things where you think oh don't know the name of that one and you can get all the information from this app it will tell you everything about it it's a fascinating app and this is becoming Sarah's new hobby <laughs> looking at what well, looking at wild plants. There we are. How cool is that? If you're interested, I can uh, I can leave a link to that app. Evening primrose, I knew that was evening. <laughs> so I wonder where this one could be. Oh, I don't like either. Oh. 
Sarah's found it straight away. How about that then? Well done. Open it. And there we are. Happy days, the go-getters. And that goes back into the tree, ready for the next person to find. And then I actually do a little log on here. So we go back and then we I'll just show you what happens on the on the phone. So those have just turned yellow and I filled in the information on the log so when you go into the activity you can cl click on the log and there's our log just to say that we found it so there we go so now we found that one i've put the bearings in for the next one which by hitting this here and then click click on navigate and then basically we just follow that little arrow there or you can switch to a compass on here and the compass is going to guide us onto the next geocache yeah so this is one of the things that uh, we really love about geocaching is the fact that it just takes us to various places we've, we've come off the boat we've looked at the maps and we could see there was a little bit of a circular walk to do and we've just come straight out to do it so you really, you never know what you're going to find on these walks. You come across so many different interesting things. You really do. Recommend it to anybody. And of course, it gets, uh, gets us with a little bit of exercise as well to, for the dog and for us. So yeah, happy days. So just up from the uh, church that we just come across, we've also stumbled across this uh, little area here, which is uh, like a little bit of a mini allotment, and uh, they just, it's a community garden, and they're asking people to, you can help yourself. How lovely is that? There you are. Please help yourself. Nothing ready. Okay. Although there's nothing there's ready yet, but some there's some rhubarb, which actually we already have some of that because my dad gave us some of that, and he, he grows. Uh, grows a lot of things on his allotment but yeah we've got all this sort of thing going on and this is this is just the amazing thing about geocaching really is that um, it just brings you out to these places how lovely is this to get the community going on uh, you know working at this no doubt it's the Cooksley community beautiful Cookley. well done Cookley. Cookley sorry it's Cookley community I stand corrected and then how about this as well book. Book, exchange book exchange within the community as well how lovely is that Richard Hammond brilliant absolutely brilliant so here we are again Sarah wants to take a bit of information over something she's not quite sure about she's selected the app and she takes that picture and then once that picture goes onto the app, yeah. it, it gives you all the information um, about what it is. So it's oregano. But this, it looks like there's three different types there. Yeah, and we'll take a picture of the other one. And then what we'll, I did, and it? That said oregano. Oh, it said oregano as well, so it might be three. Although that looks like three different stages of it, perhaps. No, that's definitely a different. See, it's all oregano. So it's all oregano. And it's that one. Because that looks lighter than mm -hmm. that one. Oh, there you are, yeah. Yeah. But all the same, if you yeah, don't. It's all oregano. If you don't know anything about these things, you can uh, use that app and just find out all about it. How, how cool is that? It's brilliant. Dougie's actually sat down there for a change. This is going to be the first opportunity that I can get of Douglas just sat there relaxing. How about that? Say hello to the folks, Douglas. Okay.
just ignore them then. Oh, this is gorgeous. But yeah, this is wonderful. What a wonderful place to to come and visit. Really is. Yeah. And again, we found this through geocaching. You can go online and uh, look for geocaching.com and you can become a member and this is the sort of thing you can come out and do and find. So, as some of these uh, plants are looking a little bit dry at the moment, there's <laughs> certainly the, uh, the strawberries down the other end. Um, is that yours? No. Sarah's um, taken to uh, joining in with the community and just watering the strawberries. <laughs> Why not? Douglas might like a little drink as well, I'm not sure. <laughs> He's wondering what's going on anyway. There we are. How about that? Okay. Oh, I to put the icing on the cake. Anyone for cricket? So as you can see, we're counting down now. And we've got to come to within 20 foot of the where the hide might be, where the compass has stopped now. But um, I've got a feeling, uh, I've got a feeling it could be on the sign, but although saying that, there's a lot of stingers around that sign, so perhaps not. Um, we'll walk on a little further, just to see the, there are hints to some of these uh, hides and the hint to this hide was log so this looks like a bit more of a likely place to go and find this little bit of a trail up here and uh, we took a little bit of a we had a little look for the clue and it said don't forget to sign the log well ah. look at the way this one has been done and devised <laughs> there we are and there's the container actually hidden inside the uh, little bit of a log basically <laughs> so we sign that and then we just write a little review on geocaching.com you can do it on the app straight away as to how you come to uh, make the find and there you go so uh, it's, it's nice to be able to show you this this is quite an interesting one really because it really blends in so well with its surroundings and it would certainly get a lot of people um, uh, looking quite hard to be honest but because we've done over 7,000 of these type of finds now uh, there aren't too many things now that sort of uh, get us but uh, they can be very crafted, craftily uh, hidden just like this one is and of course when it goes back into its place uh, you, you you know you can see how disguised it really is so if you've not come across um, this type of thing before it will certainly get you looking and the clue uh, to, to this one uh, it stated it said um, don't forget to sign the log so that's why we went to the sign in the first place because we thought sign but actually it's, the emphasis is more on the log but you can see how well that is disguised in the tree. So there you are. On to the next one. Yes, yeah, so if you want to uh, know any more about geocaching and uh, you know all the different things that you can do with it, then you can visit the geocaching.com website and that will give you all the information that you need. But um, if you want to um, know any more out of me you can email me on narrowboatingstealthy at gmail.com 
and uh, if you need any help with any of it then uh, I'll be happy to give you any more information so there we go that's uh that's us done for the geocaching I think we're going to see if we can find the chip shop in quickly in fact we know where the chip shop is so we're not going to try we're going to have fish and chips for lunch and how about that and then probably get back on the boat and uh, head off to Kimfa. catch you later <laughs>